Maria Zora has been and still is a very big problem amongst the Pokot. The people here take it as normal, so no one is shocked when it happens. Even if a child as young as nine is married off, even before they get the breasts or start their menstruation. This is the harrowing tale of Priscilla Nakolio. I was taken from my husband's home to his relatives and was monitored for three years until my periods came. It wasn't long before she conceived, yet she was still a child. My genitalia was mutilated. I almost died. By the time she gave birth to her sixth child, the husband had abandoned her. I have five boys and one nine-year-old girl. She's in school, and after what I went through with FGM, I am not subjecting her to it. However, some parents continue to subject their daughters to female genital mutilation. Christine Nair, a 15-year-old girl, ran away from home after her parents, insisted she had to be subjected to the primordial cultural practice. I'm the first one. So that in Pogot culture, they, be, they believe that the first-born child must not go to school. The first-born child must get married first. The age does not matter. The man goes to the father and they talk from the bush. Even the mother doesn't know. And when you are going for any, any, any work, even firewood, what, what, they just grab you from there. Her father told her school wasn't for her. However, a strange disfiguring disease was a blessing in disguise for Christine. It affected her limbs for a while interfering with another tradition in this area, which sees many girls get married off. The man has a laborer in a culture which treats women as shuttles. When you get married, you are the one to build the house, you are the one to do everything. Stephen Subugabe Wayo has been already in Amudat district since October 2010, says. Many victims have run to his office for protection. What drives early marriages here and child marriages is FGM. The moment we stop FGM, I believe that even the early child marriages would, would stop. FGM or female genital mutilation is a partial or total cutting off of a girl's external genitalia, including the labia and clitoris. Sambi Logire program officer with UNICEF says early child marriage in Amudat is not poverty driven. Once the children have been cut, which is usually between the age of 9 to 14, already by, culturally they are ready for marriage. This culture doesn't even spare the girl in school. During the healing process they are excluded from the community and after that they are not allowed to come back to school. According to Beatrice Cheplangat, an exponent against early child marriage and FGM for a span of two decades, such practices bring a sudden end of a childhood and violate rights of the victims including education. The marriage of the boy child determines also because I have to wait for my sister to get married so that I get dowry to pay for my wife. You see that circle. The RDC is loved and loathed in nearly equal measure. Loathed by those who want to preserve this backward culture and loved by those fighting this vice. He has often taken elders and school-going children to visit the Pokot community which lives in Kenya to learn from them. We find that more, more girls are educated than here, and yet all of them are Pokots. This has impacted positively on this community. And the good thing that now they are way of the law, because, because we have done our best to ensure that we sensitize them. He currently looks after an eight-year-old girl who was rescued from a 52-year-old man who has another four wives. She stayed in the so-called marriage for two nights. The is working directly with the district to try and address this. And UNFPA is working through the civil society. And we've targeted the young people through football and netball competitions. And our slogan in all those football and netball competitions is that kick FGM and kick child marriage out of the Pakot community. Christine is amongst those who had been forced to face the knife. Today, she's the poster child of this campaign to fight against this practice. Florence Nalimba, NTV Namudet.